everybody, welcome back to Wine Exposed. My name is Larry and I'll be your host. Today we are looking at a CMS. What is CMS? CMS is Cabernet, Merlot, and Syrah. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Syrah. Pretty common blend. I think the birthplace of that was Washington State. Uh, you definitely see it quite often there. You're going to see it now in Spain amongst other places. You're going to find with common blends like this, they usually put an acronym to it. So you'll find other uh, CMS. You're going to find uh, another example would be GSM. Grenache, Syrah, Morvedre. Birthplace of that was the Southern Rhone, uh, in places like Chateauneuf du Pop, Gigonas, Vacaras. Uh, but now it's found its way over to Australia, and you're going to find it in other places as well. Common blend, GSM. This here is a CMS. It's called Polarea. 2005 vintage. This is an equal part, an equal blend, a blend of equal parts of Cabernet, Merlot, and Syrah, a little over 33% of each wine. Uh, it's aged 16 months in new French and American oak. Let's take a look at this wine. I picked this wine up for $15.99. I think I've seen it as low as $12.99 out in the market. So if you look at your uh, larger retailers that brought it in in volume, uh, they can afford to bring it uh, out to you at a bit of a better price. So look for those values. Let's see what we've got. Bit of a um, ruby to garnet color. Uh, seeing some rim variation on this wine. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, rim variation, basically what I mean by that is the uh, difference in density between the uh, center mass of the wine when you're looking down at it like this. You typically want to tilt it or tip it. And what you're seeing on the outer rim. So on the outer rim, I'm seeing that it's a little bit lighter in color, uh, also a, a bit different color, leaning more towards a tawny color or a, ma a mahogany color, uh, which is pretty much evidence of the, uh, the oak influence of this wine, as well as the age of the wine itself, being that it's 2005. It's getting, getting uh, a little bit past current. I believe uh, you know, you'll see wines as, as, uh, as young as 2008 or 2000, even 2009 on the market today. So yeah, I've actually seen some Australian wines in 2009. So 2005 is definitely uh, showing its age. Real nice nose on this wine. Uh, getting some nice ripe red fruits, cherry and raspberry, very common to the Cab and Merlot profile for aroma. But I'm also getting some herbaceous spice qualities like, um, like rosemary and thyme. I'm also getting something like Definitely an influence from the oak. It's, um, it's coming across more like cedar, but um, it's definitely the, uh, the oak influence showing itself in, it's in the, uh, the nose of this wine. Mm. Real nice wine. This is... Um, real nice. This is... Um, Medium to full bodied, um, leaning closer to medium body, but it's got that real nice texture. It's very smooth, um, so that that almost might contribute. To, I mean, the the, the mouthfeel on this wine is real nice, so it's going to contribute to people thinking that it's that it's more full body. But I definitely say this is more of a medium bodied wine. Although I can definitely see where people would say it's full. Um, again, it's very smooth, really well balanced. Nice length on this wine, probably above average. <clears throat> it's also um, it's uh, not overly dry, uh, although I am getting some of that scratchy, chalky uh, feeling on the tongue, but it's not unpleasant. Um, it's not overly astringent or tannic, even uh, though it's got good structure, and I think this wine, being for being an 05, I think it's aged quite nicely. I think it's got maybe another three years to go before it, it really shows its peak, but I mean, this is drinking beautifully right now, so I would definitely recommend picking this wine up. Um, let's see. Would I have this wine by itself? Absolutely. Um, I could definitely see bringing this wine over to uh, a friend's house and having it with friends. But I think this wine definitely would be better as a pairing wine. Uh, because of the rosemary and thyme, I think this wine is going to go really nicely with lamb. Certainly if you're going to uh, grill the lamb and use those spices, it's really going to bring out the aromatics and the flavors of this wine and really complement the dish beautifully. So I definitely recommend that. Um, would I give this wine as a gift? Certainly. $15.99 is a great price point, certainly for a wine that's been aged in new French and American oak for 16 months. Um, and, um, and, you know, showing the way that it is, I would definitely give this wine as a gift. I think um, people are going to be very impressed by it, and they, they would appreciate a gift like this. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, 
you could find it at a volume uh, uh, retailer where you'd see uh, lots of it and get it at a better price than $15.99, all the more reason to pick it up and give it to your a good friend or relative for a gift. So for, um, for uh, Wine Exposed, my name is Larry. Please feel free to leave a comment in the section just below the video here on WineExposed.com. And I look forward to seeing you again. Cheers.